In this video, I'll go over how to export a sheet and export selection to CSV in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael and I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So I'll head over to my other sheet. This is just a table of books. And the easiest way to export this sheet as a CSV is to first go to File in the menu and then choose save as. Now I recommend that you save whatever work or sheet you have first under the regular LibreOffice Calc format. Then once that's done, you can choose save as. Under save as, make sure that the save as type, click the drop down and choose text CSV. This is the important part of it all. And once we have that, then we know it'll be saved into a CSV format. So now I gave it a name and I'll choose save. It'll usually give me a few dialogues. So this is just saying that if I'm using CSV, I might lose some formatting such as the cell widths or any colors or font styles. But that's typical because CSV doesn't have all that extra document information in there. So here I'll just use text CSV format and click this button. Then here there is a dialog that gives me more options. The defaults usually will work just fine, but depending on what country or what character set you use, you can try one that fits what works better for your language or for your system. Typically the field delimiter is a comma because CSV is comma separated values, but certain file types or file formats might prefer some other sort of delimiter. A string delimiter just means if you want each string or the contents of each cell to be wrapped within a delimiter. We'll just leave it the way it is, which is a regular double quotation. I'll click on OK. And here gives me a warning dialog. This is because I have more than one sheet in my calc spreadsheets. And when I'm saving it to CSV, it's only going to save the current sheet that I'm on, which is books. So anything I have in sheet one will not be saved under the CSV format. And I'll open up the CSV file after saving to show you the contents of that. I'll click OK. Now it's saved. And on the top bar of my window, it gives me the name and file format. I'll go ahead and minimize LibreOffice Calc and go to the file I just saved. Here I'll try and open this up in Notepad. So here we see this is what was created when I saved my sheet as CSV. It has each of the column headers up here and then all the cells within my table is listed and separated by commas. Now with this file, you can use it to open it up in some other spreadsheet software or some website and program that will accept CSV format. Okay, now back to my spreadsheet. If you wanted to just export certain selection that you made, in this case right now, I chose a range of cells from A1 all the way to B10. There is no easy way to do this by default. So I'll show you a couple workarounds. One is to just create a new spreadsheet, then copy the selection over to the new sheet. Once we have the selection in a new sheet, you could just go through the same process to save it as a CSV file. And that'll get you what you want. Another way is to use a formula. So here I'll use the concatenate function. So the tool tip is showing me concatenate. I'll press enter. And then I'll click on cell A2. I'll type in a comma and click on cell B2. Up here in the formula bar, it forms the function for me and I'll press enter. So now what I got is basically I combined the book title and the author, but actually I want to include a comma in there. So I'll manually type that in here within the function. 
Now you see the comma shows up between the book title and the author. And now I can just copy down the formula. I'll press Ctrl D on the keyboard shortcut. And so it populated the formula for me. And basically I have the data in CSV format. I think I also want to include my column header in here. So now with this formula in the range of cells, I can just copy this whole and under notepad, I'll paste it in. And I basically have a CSV file format in notepad and I can just save as And now I saved it with its own name. But actually, I made a mistake. Instead of using the txt file, I should change it to .csv. So that's what I'll do here. I'll just change this to CSV. But it would have been better when I saved as to just make sure it was a CSV format. And Windows Explorer is making me confirm renaming it because I changed the extension type. Now if I open this up in calc, there we go. So now I exported the selection I had into CSV through the workaround. So that's it for this tutorial. I made a previous video about how to import CSV into LibreOffice Calc. So I recommend you watch that video by clicking the end card that appears here. Thanks for watching my tutorial and as always, stay nifty.